and we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. That's right, with another episode of AK Blade. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And this week we've got some very special treat for you guys. All new knives. How is that different from any other week? It's different because we will be talking about them in different accents. <laughs> no, we will be not. Fine, just me then. Just you then. See, I have to say that I'm very excited about this week's knives. Some top-notch choices. It's going to be very hard to pick our favorites. Are you going to stick with this? I opened my mouth and this British accent just came out. <laughs> yeah, not a very good one. I don't know what you're talking about. This week we have knives from Boker, Steel Will, Tops, Bastion, Blade Runner Systems, and Alliance Designs on the schedule. You know what? What? I've changed my mind. About what? It won't be very hard to pick our favorites. There was a contestant that outshone the others in this week in my eyes. You know, you saw me flipping it uh, open before the show. That one is my favorite for this week. Well, refresh my memory. Which one was it? You weren't paying attention, were you? No, I was probably too busy polishing your knife challenge trophy. Really? No. Well, since you don't remember which one's my favorite, I'm just going to let you and the viewers figure it out. See, I slowly phase it out. You are phasing the accent out, phasing it out. So without retesting their results in the laboratory, the team would never have identified. And I'm going to make sure you can't figure out from my expressions, I'm going to keep a poker face. I'm just going to say one thing, one thing, and that's it. It's not the one you think it is that's my favorite. Joe? What? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. What was it? I'm going to say that we're going to start off with our first knife, the Steel Wheel Arcturus. Oh, were you now? No. Mm -hmm. You're right, I, I wasn't. I knew it. I was going to do my accents. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys to roundhouse that like button and subscribe so every egg air can stay in touch with our newest and coolest knives. Don't forget to pat the notification bell. What? We're not all as violent as you. The notification bell is very delicate, okay? We're trying out new phrases, looking for, you know, our own thing. I mean, I'm not sure we've found it quite yet. I don't know. Roundhouse really <laughs> pops. Hit or tap that button. That's not so great. All right, I'm going to try my hand at Australian, so, uh, all righty, mate. Good day. Mick Dundee from Australia. How are you? So we're Australian now, huh? We're just going to jump no, back and forth. No, you're not. I, I am. You're obviously not. All right. I'm going to talk about the Steel Wheel Arcturus. All right. This knife has a D2 steel satin finish blade. The blade length is 3.25 inches. It has a black G10 handle. The overall length of this lantern lock is 7.8 inches. It weighs 3.28 ounces and it comes in at about 58 to 60 on the Rockwell scale. It also has stainless steel liners. Hmm. Does it? Right here. A liner. The other side doesn't have I'm one. sorry. We'll go non-plural. <laughs> um, uh, you can use it as a, like a left-handed or a right-hand carry. Uh, it's a manual flipper and perfect for like everyday use. Very unique. What do you find unique or different about this folder? Well, it's obviously the two red barrel spacers on the back. And why is that very unique? Because it just pops out. Um, they're like the cherry on top, the frosting, if you will. They're just really nice. Um, this folder could pop right into your hands for only 55.24 on 
All right, the popcorn has been popped for AtlanticKnife.com. Hey, remember to subscribe and like. That was not even close. We also have another version of this knife. Mm-hmm. And it's green. Yes, it is green. It too has a D2 steel satin finished blade and a G10 handle. It also weighs 3.28 ounces and its overall length is 7 point. However, however, this knife does not have two red barrel spacers. It has two blue barrel spacers, which com are com completely different. Uh, and they really complement the style of this blade and the color of the handle. You know what I'm thinking? Arby's? No. Darn. I'm thinking that our next knife is, is just going to fly right into your hands. Right. And that is the yeah. Boker Warbird. That's, that's funny. Fly right into our hands. We didn't get that word play at all. Uh, this knife has a D2 steel blade uh, with a thickness of 0 point, like 1, point 10, whatever. Uh, a black G10 handle and weighs 4.7 ounces. The overall length of this liner lock is almost 9 inches. While the designer is, here we go, Boris Manchurov. Manashirov. Manashir, Man, Manashirov. Does that have the pictures? <laughs> oh, don't. According okay. to Boker, mm -hmm. he is not only an engineer and trained gunsmith, but also a martial arts specialist who has been working intensively with the Israeli Krav Maga. Did I get that right? Krav mm -hmm. Maga. This time. This time. Mm -hmm. Since 1973. Since 1985, as an instructor for Israeli special units, mm -hmm. his designs unite his experience from all the areas. His designs are always highly practical and adapted mm -hmm. to the requirements of modern knives. This carry, like many, has a lanyard hole for a snazzy, although snazzy might not be the right word anymore, um, for snazzy, I guess. You, snazzy, can you, how do you say that in Russian? Snazzy. About that. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to go like Israeli Mossad now. So. I can't pull mm. that off. I'm not Ziva. Red throats. Rednecks. Whatever. Uh, for a paracord lanyard or a carbiner or a key ring, uh, there's also, you knew it was coming by the way, some jimping on the flipper stud. And, well, can you see the flipper stud? Hold on. Yeah, you could see. I didn't know the flipper set looked like that. Look at that. It's like square. I'm sorry, backtracked. Uh, on the flipper stud and on the blade. Gotta love the jimping. I do love the jimping. I especially love the pocket clip. It's got like the ready to go look. Uh, I also, much like the WRKS, like and can appreciate the cutout. Um, that we can see here, you know, the was it the blood groove? It's a very small blood groove though. That's different. They're usually longer. They usually take up the top portion of the blade. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. This is a really nice knife overall, though I wonder about the name. Me too. The Warbird. You know, it's a plane, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, this knife is only 9221. Moving on to our next knife, the Scout Titanium Frame Lock. First off, this carry was designed by Pat Hammond. A different designer from the usual. Refreshing. Uh, this knife has a RWL 34 stainless steel blade and titanium handles and a sculpted titanium pocket clip. The overall length is 5.65 inches while the blade is almost 3 inches and the handle by itself, you know, when you close, it would be like 3.34 uh, inches if you wanted to get exact. Um, it weighs 1.5 ounces. Mm -hmm. You may not remember, but mm -hmm. a lot of the CRKTs that we used to uh, carry four or five years ago, we might still have them, mm -hmm. the Hammond Cruisers. Ah, he did a lot of CRKT stuff. It might have been, I think his head. brother also does designs. I'm not sure which one did the Hammond Cruiser. I can't remember. They're not both named Pat, are they? 
Oh, I'm like, you know what? You're not old enough, but that's a funny joke from um, Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. many years ago. Thanks. Thanks it has man. this very nice, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm not old enough. My grandfather told me about that Pat thing. Yeah. Oh, see how he's tainted his yeah. grandfather. Let's get back. Let's get on topic here. Uh -huh. Very nice etching on the handle. Um, this folder also comes in four colors. Uh, this is the blue one with titanium. There's also a green one, a gold one, and a purple one. It also comes in the snazzy case that also has a, a hole for a lanyard or a car binder clip so you can attach it to your pack. Uh, it has a a V on it, so I guess that's their logo. Cool. Yeah. That's an A. I don't think so. It's the name of the company, Alliance Designs. Ah. So that would be an A. Yeah. I know it doesn't have the little bar across. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, so traditionally, you know, you oh. when you write an A, there's a line. Okay. You know what V's for, don't you? Vendetta. Vendetta. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that makes much more sense. I don't know why. I would think it was a V since the name of the company wasn't having to do with a V. Yeah. Sidekicks are usually the ones who uh, make mistakes. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never once heard Robin messing up in terms of like words or misunderstanding. Oh, so now you're friends with Robin? What do you guys do? Fight crime? Uh, okay, no. And leotard? now we're really getting off topic. Okay. Um, why don't we just ask you what, no, ask you what you like about this knife. Can you just scream See? no? I can't. No! S Stop! Oh, it works. Oh, oh okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you like about this knife? <sighs> no? Well. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I think that mm -hmm. being the, you know, main event, I should let you Wow. Tell us first. There. I was like, oh, Go you're, ahead. you're gonna admit. Ladies first. Mm. Age before beauty. That would be you going first, but okay. Um, uh, I like the blue feathering or the chevron pattern on the handle. Um, it just adds a different look to this classic knife. Um, the handle sort of mirrors the design too in terms of the way it gets thinner with the design. Uh, I really like that. Uh, not to mention, it makes for a better grip, in my opinion, because it sort of sets within the curve of your hand as you're holding it. So you thought that was like a chevron pattern? Yeah. I thought it was a feather. I don't really... Is it, I, I couldn't is it determine. Anything? It was like a feathering, but a chevron, because chevrons are usually like the same all the way down. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I liked your idea when you said chevron. I was like, oh, maybe yeah. it is. Maybe it's just a design. Yeah, they're just like, let's, we want, let's fill the space with something I'm nice. not sure if he goes to Blade Show, but if he does, we'll ask him. Yeah, because <clears> we, we, we go to Blade Show. When is that? No, oh, about two weeks, I would say. Yep. Maybe three. I can't remember. Well, we'll be there, so. That's it. And make sure you look for Joel. Or, yeah. Just, just Joel. Joel. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wow. But I do, I do see what you mean by that. I mean, the mm -hmm. overall materials and the overall structure of this particular carry is, is nice. I also like that the case it comes with. I mean, it's like a little pillow almost, you know, a bed for your knife, if you will. Yep. So if you use this knife all day, you can give it a little rest in its own little knife pouch bed. Again with the mocking. You should have seen it. You should have seen that coming. But there is one thing missing from this carry. What? Jimping. <laughs> You're right. There is no jimping anywhere on this folder. Not on the blade, the handle, even on the flipper stud. Hell, there's no jimping on this case. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just said that. Okay, on Z's obvious note there, let's jump to the next, I mean, let's jump to the next <laughs> knife. I'm sorry, I, I meant to say jump. Let's jump to our next knife, the Bastion Brezza Mini Cleaver. I won't even point out that that's the second mistake side. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nesting doll. Yeah, well, this must be for the rush one, but it didn't it didn't fit. Oh, is so you going to just use the Russian accent? Yep. He's going to Brighton Beach. Okay. All right, don't do it. What? The table is still recovering from the... Actually, it's the same spot. You're getting ready to do it. <laughs> okay, look, and animate objects don't get better. <laughs> Says the Harry Potter fanatic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't. Harry Potter. I didn't. I didn't oh, don't, don't get him started. Okay, I didn't mean to do that last time. Anyway. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> Just sound Go ahead. Hard. I didn't mean to do that before. Okay, but I wouldn't take it back. Hitting the table with the artisan tomahawk with the cleaver cut was well worth it. Okay, and it was part of the joke. So. Get it. In addition to the Warncliffe style of this blade, which is made of D2 steel and is about two inches long, uh, this knife has non-slip finger hole jimping, uh, a gray stainless steel handle, and a ceramic ball bearing pivot system for buttery smooth opening with no play. And that's a direct quote from Bastion's website. Okay. And do you know what goes good with peanut butter? Peanut blart and jelly. I said buttery. Not peanut butter. Close enough. And now I'm hungry. Atlantic Knife is better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with milk. Or without for those of you that are lactose intolerant. I'm sorry. Lactose resistant. There's I some are still in denial. Thought you were going to say, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. No. Then we don't have any milk. Atlantic Knife. Speak for yourself. Dot com. Finally, this frame lock has stainless steel, removable pocket clip, and a keychain lanyard hole. Something I like about this blade is the straight edge. Mm -hmm. It makes the knife good for carving, slicing, and the pointed tip is like having a little pocket exacto right at your fingertips, Elliot. <laughs> and this knife could be at your fingertips for only $39.99 from. Why are they always running? They never run the right direction. Never, never works. Yeah, I got this stuff all over my fingertips. Always, always something with you. There you go. Thanks, sidekick. Landknife.com mm -hmm. wouldn't take this line down. Yep. Can't oh, get that's it. right. Can't get it. Get your popcorn. Ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's Atlanticknife.com. I'm trying. Ah. Uh, this frame lock is one of the smaller EDCs, but it has crazy functionality. Um, in fact, it's a great little EDC, especially for a sidekick. Yeah, sorry. You weren't supposed to get a stab. I agree. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I knew you wouldn't. I'm glad you concur. Actually, I should have just concurred. Why didn't I concur? I didn't. Look, do you want to go to jail or do you want to go home? You want to go home or you want to go to jail, huh? Okay, because if you hand me this knife back one more time... <laughs> It's jail you'll be going to. I want to go to AtlanticKnife.com. Shoot contract. Okay, didn't we already do a plug for this knife? Oh, look. <laughs> I get paid by the plug. <laughs> you can't do enough plugs around this uh -huh. place. So you can never train plugs, eh? You would know. Mm. What? Our next knife is the frame, Fragment Frame Lock by Blade Runner Systems. This out of the ordinary carry uh, has a gray titanium handle with a 2.25 Warncliffe style blade made of CPM S35 VN steel with a very nice stone wash finish. Uh, this frame lock weighs 3.17 ounces and has a tip-up carry pocket clip, is a manual flipper, and finally, it's a right hand carry. It also has a lanyard hole, extremely large jimping, mm -hmm. which you love, like and jimping. comes with this. Evolve black case. It also has a backspacer. You cannot forget the backspacer. Mm -hmm, except you did because you got the jimping but forgot the backspacer. And a knife, well, before we move on I have to say just one thing about this. A flipper stud. Look at it. That is so cool. Do you see it? You know it's actually distracting me. Why is it distracting you? This knife reminds me of another knife, and I, I almost no. exactly, and I can't remember what it is, uh -uh. but when you bring that little thing out, it takes yeah. it completely away from whatever it is. I exactly. can't remember the knife. That is just... No. I guarantee if it wasn't there, I'd be like, oh, that looks just like a... Uh, mm-hmm, I'm sure. But I can't remember what it is. And then, like, I think you could use this. I know it's in the shape of a hex bit, but could you really use it to tighten anything? I don't... I mean, you could. I mean, it's S35VN, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you could, but I don't think I would. I'm not sure it's actually um, a, a size. I don't think it is either. I, I think, think it's, it's just a design. Yeah. It might work for flipping, it's really too. It's nice uh. design, though. I like it. Okay. It's nice. Oh. Moving on <clears throat> to our final blade, which, coincidentally, we forgot. 
is the Topps Fixed Blade Rakimo. I don't even know how you could forget this gigantic thing. I don't know. This fixed carry mm -hmm. is 10 inches overall with a 5.25 inch tumble finish blade made of a 1095 steel, mm -hmm. which comes in at about 56 to 58 on the hardness scale. Made in the USA. What? Look at that. It also has a green canvas micarta handle mm -hmm. with Rocky Mountain tread. Right Interesting. On. Yeah. The knife itself weighs 9.4 ounces Alrighty. and was, desi was designed by Joe Flowers. Wow. This knife also comes with a black Kydex sheath mm -hmm. with a rotating spring steel clip. Yeah, and don't forget the top survival whistle, which I won't mm -hmm. mess with this time, okay? The rotating Save clip's everybody. important on that. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Um, but it's not the biggest fixed blade we've had on here. Oh, not by far. I mean, the Wild West Bowie, the Chaos Bowie are all mm -hmm. ones I'm sure you're talking mm -hmm. about. Of course, the Bowie's for, you know, uh, urban women. Uh, yeah. However, I can see this fixed blade at my side as well. I mean, I seem to like the Topps fixed blades over others. I wonder why. I think because, and just get this for me, this is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I think they're better made for purpose. I mean, we've had a lot of bushcraft knives on here, and it's like, this is a great knife, but the blade's a little short, or this is a great knife, but I wish the handle, when you hold it, it's like, this is a great knife. There is no, I wish there was. It's the blade's large enough, it's mm -hmm. thick enough, you can see yourself battening with it. I mean, I'm going on. I should stop. But that's how it is. Hmm. I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. Where would you want me to take it? I don't know. I was thinking some along the lines of... Is it of... because they're on top? <laughs> I have no comment for that except Exhibit A. Exhibit A? Mm-hmm. Just think about it, sidekick. <sighs> don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Atlantic Knife, where we continue to supply you with an influx of knife videos, news, reviews, everything under the sun. Also, check out our blog on AtlanticKnife.com. So now that our company obligation is fulfilled, by the well, way, we shouldn't probably sit. our company obligation is never fulfilled. <laughs> I swear I'll hear tomorrow, you only said AtlanticKnife.com 14 times. times. I was expecting it, 20. That ding wasn't loud enough. Where's that subscribe button? <clears throat> so now that we're done, which was your favorite knife for this week? Hmm. Well, I was going to tell you, but you're kind of a jerk about the sidekick thing this week again. So I think I'm just going to leave you in suspense. How about I guess? Hmm, I might tell you. I might tell you if you're right. Is it this one? Maybe I'll tell you next week. I'm going to say that your favorite this week was the green steel wheel Arcturus. What about you guys? What do you think was Jules' favorite knife for this week? Leave your comments below. But before we go, mm. we get these questions all the time mm -hmm. about who's in the background or what's on the wall. Last week we had uh, Gus there. He's from Psych. What? Not Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Burton <laughs> Gus. talking about the... The football player that we said, uh, Elijah Holyfield, he's like, he oh, thought it was. Yeah. This is somebody else asked about Gus. This right here is Peanut. Blart. And jelly. jelly. Peanut, Blart, and Jelly. Peanut See, that's where we got the accent from. Oh, yeah. All right. We do that type of stuff every week. Yeah, to explain it. I know. All righty. All right. And, as always, mm -hmm. I am C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are signing, signing off. off. Nope. Snowman.